Here with me now is Senate Minority Leader Melissa Agard. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for inviting me. Of course. So the Wisconsin Democratic Party has just announced this new effort to pressure Republicans to back down these threats of impeachment of Janice, uh, Justice Janet Protasiewicz. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss told WISN AM that Republicans won't back down. What can this effort accomplish if Republicans aren't swayed? Well, frankly, the people of Wisconsin are the bosses of the elected officials, and over a million people showed up, record numbers voting in this election, and Janet Protasiewicz won um, with an 11-point margin. She was clear, um, talking about the science and the math behind um, how our district lines are drawn in Wisconsin, admitting what people across the nation, Republicans and Democrats, know that we have highly gerrymandered districts, and that is an affront to democracy in the state of Wisconsin. It's Robin's job to listen to the people of Wisconsin. He's completely out of touch with what it is that the folks in our state want um, and what they chose in the election. Elections have consequences. So on, on that note there, Justice Protasiewicz called the maps rigged during the campaign. You alluded to that, and she was still elected. So. Do you think this does show public trust in what the justice can accomplish on the bench here? Or do you think maybe people weren't exactly paying attention to what she said during the campaign? Well, if anything, uh, Janet Protasiewicz was a bit of a broken record during the campaign. She really talked about the importance of fair maps in the state of Wisconsin, and she talked about the importance of reproductive rights and freedoms in the state of Wisconsin. There's no question that people in our state knew what they were voting for, um, and clearly they want to know that their voices are being heard in the Capitol building, and because we are a state that is gerrymandered on top of a gerrymander, uh, the will of the people is not being represented, and I think Folks, over a million people turned out in that election asking for this change, asking for more balance in our state government. They clearly knew what they were asking, what they were voting for. Well, we know that on the court, the justices are impartial, but they lean conservative, they lean liberal. Do you think a democratic bankroll of the justice here, a lot of money poured into her campaign and now this $4 million effort uh, on her behalf, do you think that proves a Republican's point that there's just too much involvement between the Democrats and Justice Protasiewicz for her to be completely impartial on these issues. So if we want to talk about rethinking how um, our Supreme Court justices are seated in the state of Wisconsin or even at the national level, I'm interested in that conversation. But Justice Protasiewicz was not in cahoots with the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party was delivering a message to the people of Wisconsin so that they could make an informed choice. It happens in all the states that have Supreme Court elections and at the federal level. Um, the Republicans have invested their dollars in their candidates as well. Um, again, this is the system that we have before us, and if we want to rethink that, I'm all for that conversation. But Justice Protasiewicz had no um, special backing uh, by a party, one party or the other. What's the thought behind almost targeting some of these Republicans, or all the Republicans, there is going to be part of this effort, a website that shows where Republicans stand on impeaching the justice. What is your thought on this seeming almost uh, like intimidation on the Democrats' part against the Republicans? So I actually was visiting that website this morning, and every legislator is on there. I'm on there as well, okay. and it clearly points where um, folks stand. So whether you're supportive of impeachment or not, or if you're undecided. So anyone can go to that website and see um, where their elected officials, their state senators, their state representatives stand when it comes to impeachment. Um, it's about transparency. It's about open government and allowing the people of Wisconsin to know what it is that their elected officials are doing. Do you think that the Child Care Counts program that Democrats are pushing for, is that the only way forward because it's clear Republicans aren't on board, or can there be another compromise here that Democrats can put forward that Republicans might go for? So listen, I'm a mom of four, um, and making the decision about whether or not I was going to put my kids in child care um, and where they were going to go in child care was one of the hardest things I've had to do times four. And my kids are a little older now. You would think that as a society that we would have been able to address that problem. Um, if we do not invest in the child care counts program, 
uh, it's possible that we lose 25 per percent of the providers in the state of Wisconsin, and we already have deserts, child care deserts across our, our state. Um, families need to know that their kids are safe when they go to work. Employers need to know that their employees are going to show up to work because their kids have safe places to go. And the workforce behind the workforce, our child care providers, deserve to have dignity in their wages and um, support from people all across the state of Wisconsin. People that have reached out to my office in support of child care counts are not Democrats or Republicans. They are people who care about our kids and our communities. Um, and they vote for different people at the top of the ticket, left and right. This is clearly an example where the Republican Party doesn't want to invest part of our near $7 billion state surplus in our kids, in our future, in our workforce. Um, and it, it is a missed mark for the state of Wisconsin. And if Republicans and Democrats cannot come to a consensus on how to address these child care issues, there's a history of lawmakers gaveling in and out of the governor's special mm -hmm. sessions, which is in a couple weeks going to address workforce like child care. Do you think that it would be a disservice if the Democrats and Republicans cannot come to a consensus on child care? I think it, it, it would be damaging to the state of Wisconsin and to um, our workforces as well as to our kids and families. Um, the proposals brought forward by the Republicans include um, provisions that would allow more kids with less providers, would lower the age of the people who are in the classrooms with our youngest um, kids in, in the state of Wisconsin. These are not solutions to the child care crisis in Wisconsin. If my Republican colleagues want to come to the table, my Democratic colleagues and I have been beating this drum. I'm in my office most days. My door is open. I, I welcome the conversation and I've delivered that message. Uh, child care providers across the state of Wisconsin have many ideas of what it is that we can be doing, but frankly, the child care counts money is a small drop in the bucket of our surplus here in the state of Wisconsin that will keep businesses open, will provide um, wages for our child care workers and support for our families and kids. Senator Agard, thank you so much for this conversation this morning. Thank you for having me.